the problem from all the above. One thing is clear, the EOS Core Arbitration Forum in its current format is a poor fit for the role it is supposed to play in the community. It exists in an ambiguous legal space, it operates off-chain, and it doesn't have a clear procedure to follow. And since a working mechanism of dispute resolution is one of the key elements of a governed blockchain which EOS aspires to be, its current impotence poses a major challenge to the whole governance structure. Article 9 of the EOS Constitution, still not ratified, states that all disputes arising out of or in connection with this Constitution shall be finally settled under the rules of dispute resolution of the EOS Core Arbitration Forum during the time when the freezing controversies were underway. The said rules only existed as a proposal discussed on a forum. By June 28, the set of rules became available at the ECAF website, marking a move towards some degree of disambiguation. Another major criticism of the EOS current approach to dispute resolution, if one assumes there is any, is that it is based on off-chain interactions and therefore leaves too much room for human interpretation and error. Some of the notable suggestions to improve the dispute resolution system include moving all the pertinent communications, as well as contract enforcement, to the blockchain. It turned out that Dan Larimer, the mastermind behind EOS and a chief technology officer with its founding entity Block.1, has been having similar thoughts as he watched the recent wave of chaos sweeping throughout his brainchild. The solution in a June 27 telegram exchange and shortly after in this medium post, Larimer laid out his vision of a new governance paradigm for EOS. Fed up with watching people wield arbitrary power to resolve arbitrary disputes, he put forward a fundamental solution that seemingly avoids both the chaos of off-chain governance, which he calls freeform contracts, and the gridlock of code is a law approach that could yield catastrophic outcomes if the code proves imperfect. According to Block, one CTO, the ultimate remedy lies in redefining community governance according to the logic of Ricardian contracts. These rules specify both free form terms, intent of code, and the code itself. Combining the seamless execution of terms inherent to pure code-based contracts with room for redress in the event of critical bugs causing serious damage. In other terms, this means taking into account both the letter and the spirit of the law and referring to the spirit in the event of the letter going wrong. This design of the checks and balances system would reinvent the role of arbitrators, prescribing that they step in only in cases when there is a clear mismatch between the code and its intent. Larimer proposes nothing less than a constitutional referendum to put the new system in place. As dramatic a change as this might seem, his weight in the EOS community could be enough to initiate a U-turn in the platform's philosophy of governance. Should this happen, the revolution will transcend just the dispute resolution aspect, redefining the whole platform as it goes. The wheels have already started spinning. As on June 28, Larimer's medium post reappeared almost unabridged as Block 1's proposal for EOS Constitution v2.0, the same day. The EOS founding entity announced its participation in voting process from which it had previously abstained, pledging to act in compliance with Ricardian contracts. The concept that has been absent from the community's discourse just a few days ago seems to be gaining a tremendous momentum, showcasing Larimer's and Block, one's vast power to shape the rules of the EOS game. Please subscribe to get more video news from Channel HK Reading Book. Thank you.